Give me a high five if you agree. Oh, thank you so much. But shoot, how do I want to do this? I'm obsessed with this bag. <laughs> I was ready to like jump on the vlog and tell you guys like don't go to Not Scary Farm. afternoon vlog it is currently friday wow this lighting is god awful there we go it's adjusting okay anyways it's friday welcome to another vlog i'm very very excited to start this vlog off with some very happy news that i'm sure absolutely no one else cares about but for the past two weeks literally every single grocery store around us has been out of topo chico it's been driving us nuts but today we have topo chico i was so happy and it was actually on sale but i also I've been wanting to get a case of this. I mean, this hasn't been out of stock. I just like keep forgetting to get it, but Topo Chico has their own hard seltzer water and it's so good. To me, it's definitely the best hard seltzer out of all of them, but that's just like a personal opinion. But yeah, I'm really excited. I finally got a case of this, but more importantly, I finally got our regular Topo Chico's. But this weekend is gonna kind of be a pretty busy weekend. I really wanna reorganize the pantry. It's just honestly so out of control. And we actually have some organizers coming in. So I'll definitely show you guys that process, show you guys what I ordered from Amazon. And then on Sunday, we're gonna go to Not Scary Farm, which I'm super excited about. I think I told you guys that we were gonna go in my last vlog, but tonight is actually gonna be kind of a chill night i'm gonna try to film a bunch of videos because trevor's gonna be working till pretty late tonight so i have the place to myself but i just wanted to check in say hello and stuff like that but he is off the rest of the weekend so i know trevor hasn't really been on the vlogs as much lately so maybe we'll get more of an appearance from him in this vlog well we definitely will because we're going to knots with him but i did want to show you guys i'm gonna be sneaky for knots i got some vodka when i was out shopping and i plan to put it in these these are like empty perfume bottles and i can just always say it's like homemade hand sanitizer and stuff so i'm gonna bring in a couple of bottles of these with I think we're gonna do vodka in one and whiskey in the other so I need to rinse these out but these are from Amazon in case anyone wants to be sneaky as well to any kind of theme park or event that they're going to. In our defense though it is so expensive to get alcohol at like theme parks and stuff so I'm gonna sneak a little bit in that doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy any alcohol there I just will sneak in some extra because your girl is on a budget because we're going to Cancun. But I'm gonna go ahead and have one of these Topo Chico's with my lunch there's tangy lemon lime, tropical mango, strawberry guava, and exotic pineapple. I really love the flavor offerings that they have in these. Let's see what's on top. Okay, so there's mango, and what's the next one down? I don't wanna dig too much. Tangy lemon lime. Um, I feel like I wanna do lemon lime with my lunch. I'll show you guys what I got. I picked up Mendocino Farms, so let me put that back, and we will refrigerate the rest. <laughs> I 
I know it's like a Friday afternoon, but in my defense, the regular non-alcoholic Topo Chico's haven't been refrigerated yet, and these are already cold. So that's my excuse for drinking right now. I got Mendocino Farms, which is like my favorite. You guys know I got my favorite sandwich. If you haven't tried it before, it is the prosciutto and chicken sandwich. It's bomb. I get mine without the honey roasted almonds just because I'm not an almond fan, but like, look at that. It's beautiful. It's got chicken, prosciutto, mozzarella. Oh my God, my mouth is watering as I'm describing this to you guys. Tomato, and then a pesto sauce. And it just like, oh, it's amazing on this ciabatta bun. My friend told me that there's a salad version of it and I almost got it today, but when I went to look it up, the sandwich is only like 270 calories. Not that I necessarily count calories, but it's only 270 calories and the salad is like 550 calories. It's like double the amount of calories of the sandwich. So I was like, why would I get the salad then? The sandwich is gonna be so much more enjoyable. And it's not like I'm only gonna eat half the salad because like refrigerated old salad is not good. So I just went ahead and I got my sandwich and I'm very happy with my decision. So I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna be filming pretty much all night. So I'll probably just see you guys a little bit later. Hello you guys. It is much, much later and welcome to a preview of a video that you guys will be seeing, I think in like a week and a half from when this goes out. But oh my God, that video took me so long to film. I started, God, I don't even have a clock. Where's the clock? Okay. Yeah. I started at like five o'clock and it is almost seven right now. That is how long this one video has taken. So when you guys see my how to style trousers video come up in your subscription feed soon, please, please watch it. But anyways, I just finished filming my last outfit. Oh my God, my hair just got all smushed. And now I need to clean up, which is, oh God. I hate cleaning up after these videos. Like these videos are so fun to film, the outfit ones, but like, it just makes such a mess because you're trying to like change quickly so you can get through the video. So basically you end up with a pile of clothing wherever you are changing at. So I need to go take care of that. But I was originally gonna make dirty rice tonight, but I forgot to defrost the impossible meat. So I'm thinking maybe we take this one over here. That guy, the handsome guy right there. Oh, we're too high, but that guy, that one right there. Oh, that's his butt. Just kidding. Okay, I'll stop with that. But maybe we'll take him on a C A R R I D. I can't say it or else, you know, he goes crazy. And go hunt down some food. I want to go see if I can find something like relatively, it doesn't have to be like super healthy, but just something like relatively not too bad, you know? Especially because I just like had that sandwich earlier. I feel like I should try to eat a little bit better for dinner. We'll see what we find. But anyways, let me change and clean up and then we'll take this one and hunt down some dinner. We're about to go, but I got a delivery and I think that this is the stuff for organizing the pantry. Cause I have to wait anyways. I think that the Amazon guy is still out there and I can't take this one, especially now that he's riled up from hearing the delivery. Um, I think the guy's still dropping off some other stuff, so. Ooh. <gasps> I'm so excited! Oh my god. This is a 24 piece set of airtight food storage containers. Had an eye on this for a while. Shoot, I just realized that the fan is on. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm very hot after filming. But, oh my god, there's so many and they look like they're gonna be so beautiful all lined up next to each other. Oh my God. Trevor and I have never been this organized. I don't know if I can stay this organized, but I like the act of organizing. It's just like maintenance on organizing that I'm terrible at, but it's a bunch of containers. This is what most of them look like. They're different sizes in here, but they are airtight. So they have the little lock on top. So we want to organize like our pastas, chips and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about this. God, there's so many here. So here's the like one of the smaller sizes. Let me see. It says here exactly how many of each size. So it comes with like one super tall one. I think that's like for long pasta. And then there's a bunch of the small ones and then two or three large medium ones, a bunch of medium ones, and then a bunch of small ones. I'm sure that made absolutely no sense, but I hope you guys get the idea. But anyways, okay. <sighs> I'm hot, Bubba. Are you hot? Hmm? You wanna go on a walk? Wanna go on a walk? Huh? 
Do you want to go on a walk? And then afterwards we'll go on a car ride? Oh, I know. I just said car ride. Oh my goodness. Oh my, I know. I'm not supposed to rile you up. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be riling you up. Okay, let me go grab some trees for you and then we'll go, okay? You gotta go on a walk before we go into CAR. Okay? Okay, give me a high five if you agree. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you how I put on his muzzle. I cannot emphasize, I'm sorry. I cannot emphasize this enough. If there are any negative comments, I'm deleting them immediately. I wanna do this to show you guys. It doesn't mean that the dog is bad. It's just maybe they have anxiety like he does and he can just be a little unpredictable if he gets startled and it's nighttime, it's harder to see. It's just more of a safety thing for both him and for anybody else who, you know, accidentally sneaks up on him or anything like that. Also, for some reason, he likes wearing it. He likes putting it on. So I can show you guys how we've kind of been training him with it. But basically what I do, hey, leave it, is I take, leave it, is I take a treat, put it in the mouth area, stop, leave it. See, he's like excited to put it on. Hey, stay, leave it, on. I tell him on, and as he's finishing that, you can put on, leave it, leave it, relax. Very good, yes. And honestly, I'm gonna take it off of him as soon as we get in the car. It's just, again, the Amazon guy's walking around, it's dark and he already got worked up. So the only reason I'm putting it on him, if everything was fine and he hadn't just gone worked up and I had better visibility because our corridor is so, so slim. It's really hard to pass people by. I wouldn't put it on, but because of all those factors, better safe than sorry. So, all right, Bubba, let's go. Actually, you need more poop bags, but let's go. Come on. Come here. Oh, I know. Hey, Bane, sit down. We call him Bane when he has it on because like, he looks like Bane. Don't talk on board. Okay. So now that we're in the car, I can take it off of him. And especially because he's not pulling at it. So come here. Oh, can't reach you. There you go. And it's off. Good boy. Good boy. Hi, buddy. So like I said, I just do it. Oh, actually, I'll leave these lights on so you guys can see me. But I just do it in our corridor because, again, it's so so narrow but i usually take it off like once we've walked out because he's just the worst when he's at his home because he's super protective and he's reactive it's just more peace of mind to go ahead and muzzle him especially at night when it's like such a narrow walkway it's like and it's hard to explain our walkway it's hard to see around the corner to see if someone's coming so again just easier peace of mind but it comes off you know, if I can take him out of the car wherever we're going, I'll take him out. No muzzle, not a problem. Whenever I take him to the PARK, I do it. No muzzle, no problem. It's just in specific areas or instances. Basically when we're at home in an unpredictable situation. But other than that, he's cool. He's really, really good at the PARK. He will go up and greet people and he is just like happy and looking around everywhere, but it's just at home. He's just so protective. So we're doing another round with the behaviorist because he's gotten so good away from home. It's been like a huge, huge improvement, but at home is where we're really like working now to get in just not so territorial. And then the other reason too why I've started so I stopped using the muzzle altogether for a while, but I had to start up again because there's construction going on in the place next to us and the workers actually use like our front lawn area a lot. So if they're out there and I don't realize it, I'd just rather I have them muzzled. Although they have been out there a couple times and startled us and he didn't do anything. So I think he's actually pretty fine. But also to our neighbor got a new puppy and he is very, very squirrely, and I have seen him almost escape their apartment twice when I've been out walking him. So, especially when we're passing by their place, I want to muzzle in case the little puppy comes out. More than likely, he's gonna try to play with it, but he's also such a big dog, and he honestly plays so rough that I just would feel bad if the puppy just got so overwhelmed with trying to play with him. Yeah, and just leave him muzzled for that. Hi, puppies. But okay, I'll go ahead and put the windows down for you. Oops. There you go. Is that good? Okay. There's like this car next to us that is like watching him. They like love him. 
long because you're handsome. You're so handsome, Bubba. Okay. What the hell is wrong with my mirror? There it is. You're so handsome, sir. But anyways, for dinner. Oh, man, what do I want? I'm thinking... Someone got pulled over, that sucks. Anyways, I'm thinking maybe Chick-fil-A? I really love their market salad. I used to get it all the time when I used to go into the office because there was a Chick-fil-A near us. So, so far that's the number one contender. Oh, there's also Panera in the direction I'm going in. That's a possibility. What else? Sonic, no. I want something better than Sonic. Although not that Panera is like really good food anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking Chick-fil-A. Leave it. Hi, you. good, how are you? Sarah? Hi, Sarah, how Um, I wanted to do a uh, market salad. Uh, like the, uh, uh, yeah, the apple cider one, yeah. Right. And then no nuts on that though. No, none of like the granola topping. And then just a medium fries and that's it. I was originally just going to get like small fries because I usually like to do like a salad and then you know a little something on the side but I figured a certain someone over my shoulder might like some fries as well so I grabbed a medium instead. You are welcome. You are very welcome. Okay. Wow. Ungrateful. I got worried for a second. I forgot my cell phone at home, which I keep my debit card and my ID in. So I don't have my ID right now, but luckily I just got my new credit card in the mail and I activated it and I put it in the wallet that I keep in my purse. So I had that, but I like looked and I was like, crap, shit, I forgot my wallet. I almost like went back, but thank God I remembered I had that. And thank God I had it, period, you know? But I was glad that he was really good when I was doing my order because usually when I take him through drive throughs it's just the box you know I haven't taken him through a drive through where someone's approaching the car and again he's a little bit more territorial so I wasn't sure what he was gonna do but he just sat there he did very good so he absolutely deserves his fries yes you do buddy Sparta fart hi hi handsome you got a good looking face dude okay it was funny, besides that car that I told you guys that was watching him, there were like two or three other cars that like drove by slowly that were looking at him. He always gets that reaction from people. Everybody always says like, what a beautiful dog he is. I mean, he is, he has a really good face despite the fact that it's like 50-50. Half the people think he's a very beautiful dog. Half the people think that he is really scary looking. Hi. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Excuse you. You're being very demanding, which is another thing you're supposed to be working on. That's right, you stay back there. He can 100% smell the fries. He wants them like right this second. You're being a creeper. <laughs> you're being such a creeper. I know you can smell them. Not right now. Excuse you! What are you doing up here? <laughs> Sir? Sir, your seat is in the back. Excuse you. What are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the other thing that we need to work on with him is now that he's gotten so much friendlier with people, he gets kind of demanding, which our behavior is, is typical of a bully breed. I mean, that's why they're bully breeds. They will bully. He will literally, like if you have some food that he wants and he doesn't do as much with us because he knows that we're not gonna give in. But if it's like a new stranger, especially who, um, wow, this guy's listening to his music really loud. But if it's like a stranger, especially who has been giving him a ton of treats to build that trust with him, he will literally like stare at them an inch closer and just bat them. So we've been trying to nip that in the butt because he can't be doing that. But I would rather take that over him being scared of people. Like I'd rather he just wants to demand food over him being terrified of new people. But you know, like one behavior at a time. Yeah, he has improved so much. We're very happy with his progress with the behaviorist.
All right, back home, and it totally worked out that today is like my night to just chill with Spart and have, you know, a him and me night because I got my Coco Chico and Julian Hunter just posted a new vlog, but it is his dinner time. Excuse you. What are you doing? There's not even food in that. You want dinner? You want food? Okay. Excuse you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please be seated. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Go. <sighs> All right. So, got. Fries here to share with Spartacus and he's done. Oh shoot. Okay, well I guess all of those are for him. He can have all the dirty table fries. That's fine. And then for my salad, I always get the market salad. It's got chicken, apples, blueberries, strawberries, and then feta in here on a bed of lettuce. It's so freaking good. And it's weird. They automatically asked me if I wanted the apple cider vinegar dressing, which is actually what I was going to ask. It normally comes with like some raspberry vinaigrette, but I guess word got out that the apple cider vinegar one is better with this. So I, I, I don't know. That's my best guess. It also comes with like some almonds and nut granola on top, but I don't like nuts in my salad. So I asked them to omit that. So I just do the salad as is with the zesty apple cider dressing. I want to show you guys how good he's been getting at this. I'm so proud of him. Leave it. Look at that fry right on the ground. Uh-uh. I can literally sit here and just eat my own damn food. He's, he's waiting. Uh-uh. If he looks at it, I just uh-uh him. Yes, good boy. Very good. You're so good at that. Yeah. Good afternoon, you guys. All right, so had a busy morning, but it's now time to organize the pantry. Here's a look at how bad it's gotten. <laughs> it got so freaking bad in here. There's like no organization or anything. So we're gonna try to fix that. Let me go grab the stuff to organize everything with. In addition to the little containers, I also have these two woven baskets these are left over from the bathroom redo and i figured i would use them to organize bags and stuff here in the pantry and then from the target dollar section i also got this little lazy susan i just like really like it i think it's super pretty with like the wood and then the black accents but i think to do this correctly i should probably clean off this table so i can pull everything out and organize it on here so that means I need to break down my computer setup, so we'll just go ahead and get started on that, I guess. sections because the table is just not big enough to accommodate everything. Clear out the top two over here and throw out anything that was expired or that we're honestly just like not going to eat. So I'm trying to think of like, God, I wish that this would open a little bit more, but what's the best way to do this? Because some of the stuff, no, we're not going to do this. Because some of the stuff I do want to put in the container. So I think I just need to figure out which ones, but I guess I can start out with anything that's uh gonna stay in its own spot and like stay out the kodiak cakes is huge so i'm just gonna put it back where it was i feel like it was in a good spot but shoot 
how do I want to do this? And like, what do I want to use the lazy season for? <laughs> I didn't think this through. Oh, maybe I'll do that for like all the baking stuff. That makes sense. So, and like back stock. So like the maple syrup, baking soda, food dyes. I don't even know why I have as many food dyes. It's not like I bake a lot. We've been over this. I'm not a baker. Sprinkles. Oh, what else? Not all the baking stuff. Oh, flour, but I think flour and sugar I want to put in the containers. Oh, here. I can do cooking stuff like these breadcrumbs. Got an extra almond breeze. I mean, that already cleared up so much space. I think what would clear more space is if I take the trash off. Hello. Now that I have that done, oh, why am I hot? I think the top I want to do baking, cooking, that kind of stuff. So, I guess I might as well get started with these. So let me go ahead and I'll rinse off some of the ones that I know I'm gonna be using, and then we'll start filling up a few of these. These clean right off, so let's do flour in one. This one might have needed a bigger container. I did not think we had this much flour. Uh-oh. That's worrisome. <sighs> this is on me. <laughs> Damn it. I know I've been a fool, but fools are broken. This is where we're gonna call it for today. I love the top shelf. It's my favorite one because it just looks freaking gorgeous. And then on the second shelf here, we got like some breakfast stuff, really just like the one breakfast thing. And then drinks, built bars, what's left of the coffee here. I actually will probably switch this to a bigger container once we get a new thing of coffee in. Then down here is the snacks. I need to like wipe everything down, but so like loose, smaller snacks, candy and stuff is in here. I've got rice cakes right here and then i have it organized for these rosemary crackers trail mix and those pumpkin spice cookies and then down here like i said i just left it the same but i think that this is a pretty good stopping point for now i don't know if i'm going to organize any more than this but i'm very happy with it right now and then just because we have the extras i went ahead and organized the pasta over here in the like cooking stuff so it looks more organized with like the lazy susans with all the condiments and all the pastas in the containers now but now we're getting ready to leave oh god it got dark then it's light again okay but now we're getting ready to leave we're gonna go watch the fight with some of our friends at a nearby bar so i'm just getting changed really quick or actually i'm already changed but want to finish the outfit so ready to go i'm gonna be wearing this black crop top this is like from a pack from shein and then the denim shorts from BDG. I'm gonna throw on this oversized nasty gal. Oh, it looks like great jacket. minds think alike. Why? Are you gonna wear a leather jacket tonight? Oh God, Trevor and I are gonna twin. I hate being that couple. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Seriously, I just won't be going out tonight. <laughs> I was hiding it from you so I could surprise you. Ah. I'm burning up. I don't know why I'm putting this on. Hey! Finish eating your dinner, sir. So that's the outfit. And then these shoe dazzle point toe wedge black boots. And then obviously just my bag, and then we're good to go. Nobody's gonna take it three hundred K alone. Somebody's gonna break it. You want this body on the low now. But don't let these feelings are your grown now. Stay. Happy Sunday afternoon. I have been literally so sick all morning. Luckily it feels like it's pretty much past and I'm starting to feel kind of back to normal. When we went out for dinner last night, I didn't tell you guys, but my chicken took like an hour. They were so busy and we weren't like necessarily mad at the server, but they were just like so busy there. So I kept asking about my chicken. They finally brought it out. And then at about like two last night, I started not feeling good. I thought it was because we were drinking and to make up for the chicken taking so long, they gave Trevor and I a free shot each and we were expecting like a shooter something kind of weak but they actually gave us like a straight shot of whiskey which was so nice so i thought that the shot of whiskey had kind of like put me over the edge from just like drinking in general and then just eating so much fried food so i thought that's what was going on last night but then this morning i've just been like so sick it was definitely like a mild food poisoning not anything that was like so bad that i wouldn't be able to go to knots tonight but definitely was not doing well. I feel like the worst part has definitely passed and I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not like 100%, but I'm feeling better. I was able to eat a little bit and keep it down and stuff. So now I'm fine, but we are gonna leave for knots in probably a couple of hours from now. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing because believe it or not, <laughs> This does not discourage me from drinking at knots. I got these little empty perfume bottles from Amazon. And by the way, I haven't really done much else to the pantry. Still have some stuff on the table. I cleaned up a little bit, but I decluttered so much from the pantry that there's really not much more to do, but it just looks so much nicer in there. But anyway, sorry, that was a freaking segue. I'm still feeling like a little off, so forgive me. But anyways, I ordered these little empty perfume bottles and we are sneaking in some alcohol. I already filled up one of them, but I'm gonna fill up this one. So I thought I'd do it on camera. I did the other one for TikTok. Where is, oh shoot, Trevor drank like the rest of the whiskey. Are you serious? Okay, just kidding. Trevor polished off the whiskey last night. So we're gonna do vodka in this one too. So basically if you saw my TikTok, this is what was happening. It comes with like a little funnel. I'm like, I figured if they say anything, I'm just gonna say that it's homemade hand sanitizer. Just pretend I'm like one of those girls who likes to DIY things like that. And even if they spray it, I mean, it smells like rubbing alcohol because it's vodka. So they can't like necessarily prove that it's not hand sanitizer. Fill her up. Beautiful. Cap it. And yes, I did wash these very thoroughly. But also it's, you know, vodka I'm putting in here. That should kill pretty much anything. But yeah, now it just looks like, oh, you made some hand sanitizer at home. But I'm doing all that to prep for packing up my bag for knots. I need to start getting ready too, but I just started feeling better. So <laughs> one thing at a time. This is my new Coach Jess crossbody bag. If you guys missed the unboxing, I will link it right over here. I'm obsessed with this bag. It is so, so perfect, especially for like theme park stuff. I already have one bottle in here, but I will just make sure that they're super tight since this is a new bag. There we go. So that's one bottle, this one's super tight. Second bottle. Actually, I'm gonna put one in each just cause I hate the sound of like the glass clinking together. I obviously don't wanna bring this to knots cause it's so big and bulky, which is why we're gonna transfer stuff into a smaller bag. So I'm gonna bring my wallet, obviously. Let's see what I would need from here. I'm gonna bring a lip gloss, just the Merit lip gloss. I'm gonna bring my Tide stick. We are gonna eat beforehand. We're gonna try to go to Kick and Crab, but if it's too, busy we're gonna go to rock and brews so just in case i spill on myself tide pen my camera lens cleaner and do i need anything else i feel like this is a good enough amount of stuff oh face mask duh so pack that in the front pocket i think that that's all i need i don't need to bring like a ton tonight hi bubs you're gonna be alone okay but we're watching you through the doggy camera 
I caught him yesterday, you guys. When we went out to go watch the fight, I thought I had left my cash in here, so I ran back in here and I literally caught him. He had like found a sandwich wrapper from lunch and he was like trying to dig into the sandwich wrapper and I came in and he looked up and like his ears and tail went down and he just went and sat in the corner. <laughs> it was really cute and funny, but also you shouldn't be doing that. Bring a hair tie and then also just a hairbrush just because I hate it when my hair is tangled. And then, oh my gosh, my freaking stomach is killing me right now. The last thing I guess I need to pack in here is gonna be my camera. I'm gonna switch this to the Canon for knots just because it's smaller and it's lighter. So just carrying that camera around at a theme park all day is gonna be a lot easier on me than carrying around the Sony. The Sony is just heavier by like a few grams or ounces or whatever, but that adds up like as you're holding it and carrying it all day and stuff. Oh, actually, it's still gonna be a little light outside when we go to dinner, so I am gonna bring sunglasses. I'm just gonna bring my Ray-Bans because they're nice and small. So I'll put it in the back pocket here. Cool, and I think that that should be it besides my keys, but I will deal with that in a second. And then I can put my phone in the back pocket like I talked about in my video and I'm all set. But I think that that's fine for right now. So we are all packed up and all set and ready to go for knots. So I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready and we'll probably see you guys on the way there. All cleaned up, ready to go uh, for my outfit. I have on the same shorts from yesterday. I was gonna do pants, but I'm hot. And also the shorts are a little bit looser and since my stomach is upset, figured I'll go with something a little bit looser. Then this top, it's like got a built-in bra. This is from Amazon. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I'll link it below. It's such a good stable piece. For shoes, which I have not changed yet. I'm gonna do my Converse's, my high top Converse's. I like these because they have the thick sole, which makes it comfortable to stand in and walk in for a while. And then I'm gonna bring another Amazon piece. This is just like an oversized Brooklyn brown sweatshirt just to throw over if I get cold. So that is the fit, but we are gonna head out here in a minute. I think I mentioned it to you guys, but we want to try to eat at Cake and Crab. If not, then we're gonna go to Rock and Brews. Yes, I did mention that, but we'll just see, you know, how the crowd is at Cake and Crab. I'm really hoping for Cake and Crab because seafood sounds delicious. We are on our way now to Knott's. Well, actually on our way to try for dinner then knots. Are you excited? Yeah. Finally going. I mean like last Halloween obviously not a lot was going on because of COVID so really happy to be able to be going back to like a Halloween kind of event but the car's really loud and the mic on this camera is not the greatest so I'll just chat with you guys when we get closer to knots. Nobody's gonna take it got done with dinner. Oh my god, this does not want to focus. <sighs> so I prefer the Sony. Anyways, just got done with dinner and we are full. If you can hear Trevor, he is full. <laughs> He's hurting. Although I ate more. I was the one who finished pretty much all of the meat. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Freezing. But we are now on our way, way to Knott's. We have to go wait in the line for the freaking parking like the getting into the parking here is terrible that is one thing i will give disney even though it's so expensive to park and stuff there actually it's cheaper than knots i but, about to say oh yeah this is super cheap yeah but disney is so organized and their structure so big it's really easy to get into their parking but but you can tell them the good news of why it's not going to be too big of a deal oh i forgot okay Trevor surprised me because uh, this happened off camera so I totally forgot <coughs> to tell you guys. He surprised me and he told me he got us the front of the line passes. So we barely will have to wait in line all night and that includes mazes and rides. Most so, rides. Most rides. So we're going to go on rides too. We don't have to like worry about rationing our time and stuff. At least not as much. So. Thanks, babe.
just left knots. Not stopped to get some gas from Trevor. I got some snacks. I got the Gardettos. This is like the all right chips and then some bugles. Both sounded amazing. Got some hand sanitizer. Bud. Oh, was, did you get me anything? Did you want anything? You need to tell me. Oh, you can't just it's all right. not say anything. Anyways, I will recap my favorite mazes and stuff when we get home. The first one. Right now. <laughs> For right now, we're tired. We just want to get back to Spark, who we haven't fed, so he needs to eat and go potty. All right, you guys are wobbling. I'm so sorry, but back home, I am exhausted. My computer sounds exhausted right now because it's trying to upload all the clips from this vlog. I just wanted to recap really quick. Knots for anyone who is interested in going who lives in the Southern California area. Just like some tips and what we really didn't like because what you guys didn't see was getting into knots and the first part of knots was a huge disaster, but it started to make up for itself. So first off, I would highly suggest if you wanna go and you wanna eat beforehand, plan to get to the knots parking lot and be parked in there by five. So if you really, really wanna eat somewhere elsewhere, eat dinner at four, then make sure that you are literally parking at five because otherwise parking gets crazy. When we got to the Knott's area, obviously they had a kicking crowd, which was like maybe a five-ish minute drive away, but it would have been a hell of a walk. We already saw that the line to get into the parking lot was getting really, really long. So it just got exponentially worse by the time we finished dinner and went. So I would highly recommend just planning to eat at one of the restaurants that's like right outside of knots like in the front area or just plan to eat dinner in the park and just be there really early because parking was insane we were waiting in the line of cars to get into the parking lot for probably anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes in theory that doesn't sound that bad but when you're sitting in your car waiting to get into a theme park it's pretty freaking bad and we got really really pissed because as we were finally pulling into the parking lot that we were trying to get into there's like a couple different parking lots two cars ahead of us they closed the gates to it and we were like uh no so trevor talked to the guy because trevor's car was literally on empty he was like look my car's on empty i just want to park because as soon as i get out here i have to go get gas they also weren't like telling anybody where they were sending people to park once they closed down that parking lot so trevor's like i can't drive around in circles so the worker was nice enough and he let us in but he didn't let anyone else in so we got lucky there and we were actually lucky even getting into the parking lot because someone left which was weird because it was like eight o'clock like knots had just opened an hour beforehand and we were like where are you already leaving but whatever so we checked their parking spot it was like right in the front but yeah the parking is a nightmare there please for the love of god if you're gonna go just park early and walk around the knots area or like walk to get food do not do what we did and plan to eat somewhere then come in like right at seven because like i said even at 5 30 the line was piling up. I did mention to you guys that Trevor had also surprised me with fast pass admission, which was really awesome. One thing about that, and we were talking to a couple of different workers and they couldn't understand why not structures it like this either. When you purchase your fast pass ticket, they give you two tickets. One is the admission and one is the fast pass ticket. We thought that it was like, okay, then we just show the fast pass ticket every single time we go through line. That's not what happens. You have to go and get a wristband so you have to take your fast pass ticket go to guest services and wait in another line to get your wristband and that line we were in line for like 20 minutes before trevor finally like went and asked someone else if there was somewhere else where we could go get a wristband and they directed us to the general store and that's where we got our wristbands the line was way shorter there and we really lucked out there and we got the last two wristbands that they had at the general store they needed to go like get some more and restock but we got like the last two so got lucky like both things that went really really wrong we ended up getting lucky on even though we ate up so much time trying to park and almost didn't get to park in that structure we got a parking spot right away and then even though we had to go get these damn wristbands we got the last two but one mistake that we did make if you are a southern california resident Guys, the roller coasters are there year-round. I don't know why, but the first thing Trevor wanted to go 
get mine for was Accelerator. I felt like that was a waste of time, but by the time we realized it, we'd already been in line for 20 minutes, and I just was like, fuck it, we're gonna keep waiting. Because if we keep line hopping, this is gonna be ridiculous. Even with the Fast Pass, the line for Accelerator probably took about 30 minutes. It was really bad. It was one of the worst lines there. That and Ghost Rider. Those two, if you're coming to Knots for Not Scary Farm, even if you have a Fast Pass, do not bother going on those two roller coasters. Again, they are there year-round. Pay for a ticket to go on a different day and just go then. I say, especially if you have Fast Passes, do all of the mazes because those are only there for not scary farm that's basically what the whole thing is is like all of the mazes and the scare zones and stuff so go do all the mazes then once you've done all the mazes then decide which roller coasters you want to get on and go from there those are my suggestions for you guys and then as far as our favorite ones the first one that we went to i think it was called it was mesmer it was underneath accelerator oh my god that maze the production value on it was insane i wasn't even noticing everyone trying to scare me in it i was just looking around at everything because like they have such cool effects in that maze there's one point the room looked like it was spinning and then it looked like there was like a hole in the floor and like it was crazy that maze is so so sick definitely hands down my favorite maze i think to me though the scariest maze was the asylum just because there were a couple points in that maze where it was pitch black. It was only pitch black for like a couple seconds, but still like a couple seconds in pitch black when you know people are there trying to scare you. It's definitely kind of scary. So I do recommend those two. The last one we went on was really cool production value wise too. I think it was called The Dark Ride. But in general, actually like all of the mazes for the most part, the production value on it was pretty insane. We just kept looking around at just like how good the sets were. The pumpkin one was also a really good one. That was the second one we went on. It wasn't particularly scary, but just the design of it was amazing. So yeah, despite a very rocky start, like I was ready to like jump on the vlog and tell you guys like don't go to Not Scary Farm, it's not worth it. I would say it is absolutely worth it, especially if you get the Fast Pass. The Fast Pass is absolutely worth the money. Today is Sunday. We went on a Sunday and it was crowded, but I've heard that Saturdays are the absolute worst. So I do know don't go on Saturdays. If you can't go during the week, Sunday was okay. It was busy, but it, it was okay. But yeah, I do recommend Knott's, especially if it's something that you want to go to. It's not my first choice out of the events that are here in Southern California. I still think that the Queen Mary is my absolute favorite, but there aren't rides at the Queen Mary, so just be aware of that. But I would definitely do knots again, especially with the Fast Passes. It's 1000% worth it. But anyways, I'm gonna get to bed. I'm so freaking exhausted. So I guess good night for now, and I will see you guys in the next one.